Okay, so right here I am putting some of the Noxema, I think it's called Classic Clean Deep Clean or whatever, but I was jamming out because I was having the time of my life. But yeah, I'm just rubbing that all on my face. I usually put this on because it cleans it and I'm pretty sure I use it wrong, but it works for me. So I'm just rubbing that all up in my face and it literally smooths my face out, makes my application of my makeup a lot easier so i use this when i get out the shower before my makeup after my makeup take off my makeup all that good stuff so yeah just doing that okay so now i'm just priming my face i forgot to show it but i was using the wet and wild primer i'm going to show you the noxema that i was using in the clip before but yeah i literally swear by that stuff Okay, so now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just going to prime my eyes with that. So I like to use that as a kind of like a base instead of eyeshadow primer. I don't know, it works best for me. So I'm just wetting my beauty sponge and just blending that in. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Soiree Diaries by Pure Cosmetics and I'm going to take the color Private Party and I'm just going to go ahead and start setting my concealer on my eyelids just so it doesn't start creasing. So now I'm going to take the color Splurge and just put that on my crease and kind of blend it in like a halo eye, but not really a halo eye. I don't know. I kind of just did that, just started blending it in. So I'm just going to keep grabbing that color and kind of building up the intensity of it. I didn't really know what kind of look I was going for, but I kind of just went with it. I don't know. I've been having that artist block, I guess. I can't ever decide what kind of makeup. I always go for the basics. But yeah, so I decided to do kind of a halo eye with some glitter on the center. But yeah, so I'm just keep blending that color in. So going back with the palette, I took the color stunner. And just started packing that on my crease and building more depth into my eye for the halo effect i didn't really know what i was going for but i just kept packing it on until i was content with the look that i have so i just keep packing that on and yeah i don't know so i guess it came out okay so now i'm going to take the golden state of mind palette by ColourPop. and you'll see the disappointment on my face when you see how one of my shadows broke literally it was like shattered but so yeah i'm just going with this palette because it's full of glitters and i took the color sparkler and just stuck that in the center of my eye with my finger because i feel like that applied a lot better and i just grabbed the brush and started just blending it all in to take any harsh lines away so I went ahead and just did my other eye off camera, so I'm spraying myself with the Mario Badesco spray and priming my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore primers, so definitely like go and pick it up. It's like $5. It literally smooths my face and just makes the foundation look flawless on my skin. So now I'm going to take the Gel Hybrid Foundation by Tarte in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just going to go ahead and start dotting that all over my face. I haven't really used this foundation for me to know how I truly feel about it. I kind of just bought it because it was like 12 bucks at Ulta. So yeah, I think it's pretty light for me as of right now. But I'm also going to take the concealer. I think it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural Beige. Just to add more warmth to my face because the foundation is pretty light. So I'm just going to dot that around. So I'm just going to grab this beauty sponge and kind of just dab it all over my face and I didn't really like the way it felt as you can tell it didn't really blend in the foundation as well as I wanted it to but it was alright, I don't know, I decided it was the first time using it so maybe I, it's not broken in yet but you'll see me changing to my regular beauty blender soon. Okay, so now you see me kind of just using my regular beauty blender and my face looks super pale, but I'm going to fix that. I promise I don't look that crazy. I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and just, you know, 
doing what every beauty guru does with their concealer i'm just gonna grab my beauty blender and just blend that out i like this because it's only like three bucks literally shape tape dupe maybe i don't know i haven't really used my shape tape since i moved <laughs> I'm just gonna take my Cody Air sponge and grab my Real Technique sponge with it and just go ahead and start putting that on my face but not baking so I'm just blending it in inside and letting it kind of melt in my face I feel like this tends to make the makeup last longer doesn't really make that white cast that this translucent powder tends to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that all over my face before I put any other powders just because it helps melt it in and makes it just apply more seamlessly okay so now i'm just going to take my abh contour palette and i'm just going to use the last three shades to kind of contour i don't like contouring i'm really bad at it and i feel like i haven't found the right brush for it so i'm just using this brush and it's really awful like super awful and yeah, so I'm just going to do the best that I can to blend it in, even though I made it look really streaky. But yeah, so I'm just going to use that, and I'm pretty sure I use a crown brush afterwards because that brush was just awful. It did not do justice for this product, so... So I got my crown brush, and I'm just going to blend in the harshness of the contour. But now I'm going to just grab my Hoola bronzer and kind of just bronze up my whole face. I tend to go ham on my bronzer, especially if my foundation is pretty light. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my forehead, my temples, on my cheeks, literally everywhere. I'm just going to go ham. As you can see, like, I don't know why I go so hard, but that's my favorite bronzer literally my go-to every day so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that literally everywhere on my face so now i'm going to take the pretty vulgar blush and kind of just pat that in just because it is pretty pigmented but so i'm just going to go ahead and take this elf dual fiber brush and just start packing that in and grab a big face brush to blend it in so it's not as harsh on my face so now I'm just going to take the two colors that I use on my crease and kind of just smoke out my lower lash. I don't know, I just, to keep the balance in my eyes, I usually don't do this, but I'm just going to take those two colors and just blend it in. So now I'm just going to grab the Cila eyeliner and just start lining my eye following the little shape that I had made with the tape just to create a small wing, not as thick as I normally would do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardis Mascara to just coat my lashes. I'm not going to wear falsies because I simply don't want to deal with them. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and just start applying the mascara. Now I'm going to take the Nicole Guerrero palette by Anastasia and use the color glow getter to just start highlighting my face and I'm also jamming to pretty sure it's Latin Trap but yes I'm just going ahead and just highlighting my face all right so now I'm just going to grab the artist couture I guess it's a highlighter and it's in the color Illuminati and it's literally pigmented as fuck like, I didn't realize how pigmented it looked since I haven't really used it, but it literally is blinding. So, use this with caution, but I'm just going to put that on top of my other highlight. Alright, so I'm not going to show everything, but I'm just using the Cantu products to fix my hair up because my hair is literally 
a rat's nest right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my hair. So this is the finished look. I look like, still look like shit, but we out here. So like, subscribe, comment, whatever, post this, talk shit to me. I don't really care. Yeah. yeah.